Thank you, Olga. Well, in the past few months, three LGBTQIA plus items have been challenged for removal from the library's collection, though none have been removed. News of Lafayette's public library no longer highlighting celebrations like Pride Month due to it being too political has raised some brows in the community. News 15's Ashley Hamilton joins us in studio with news of a new library to highlight the queer community through literature and she needs your help. Good afternoon, Ashley. What can you tell us? The Lafayette Public Library has been under scrutiny after deciding not to celebrate groups of organizations. But even though the library will no longer set up displays, one little girl plans to do just that, creating what would be the first little queer library in the Hub City. Cora Newton tells me this was an idea she came up with before the displays in the public library became an issue. But now she says it's more necessary than ever. I wanted to do this to help and it makes me feel happy that it actually is. As Pride Month displays for the foreseeable future also won't be shown in the library. Ten-year-old Cora Newton knew starting a little queer library was just what the Acadiana area needed. Me and my mom had just gotten home from a library board meeting and we were thinking of ways to stop the book banning. I had been wanting a little library for so long I thought that we could put some of the books that they were trying to ban. Her mom, Katie Salt, says they've been talking about the issue for some time, and she says she's incredibly proud for what her daughter wants to do for the community. I was surprised that she came up with such a you know, positive solution, yeah, but she's creative, so I shouldn't be surprised. I think overall it'll be you know, well supported and maintained. Not only does she have the support within her community, but she's gaining support across state lines. Cora knows that even miles away, allies are here to support her act of kindness. I heard about what you were doing down in Lafayette, Louisiana. I just wanted to tell you that I think you're amazing. If you ever need any type of help whatsoever, please, please let me know. We are more than willing to help you and we have your back 110%. It just feels amazing that people from that far away would be supporting what we do. I love having it in this community because it'll escalate LGBTQ community support a lot. And for each color Newton and her friends paint, they all have a special meaning. Well, I did rainbow because it's, there are pride colors, and I did black, brown, light pink, and blue because it's trans pride too. Cora's mother says they plan to include a list of community resources available to the LGBTQ plus people locally and hope to stock the little library with as many LGBTQ plus titles as they can. In studio Ashley Hamilton, back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Ashley. Well, a location for the Little Queer Library is still in the works, but if you would like to donate any materials or books, you can always drop them off.